Imagine flying over the endless blue of the Pacific Ocean. For hours, there is nothing but waves and horizon. Then, gradually, something changes. Specks appear, tiny at first, then larger. A fishing buoy here, a bottle there, a ghost net drifting like a sinister jellyfish. This is not an island in the traditional sense. No palm trees, no sand, but it is real and it is growing. This is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, our planet's most haunting monument to the age of plastic. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, GPGP, is not a single chunk of waste floating like a raft in the ocean. It is a sprawling, swirling zone of plastic debris, trapped by one of the Earth's great oceanic conveyor belts, the North Pacific Subtropical Gyre. This gyre, made up of massive rotating currents driven by wind patterns and Earth's rotation, acts like a slow-moving whirlpool. Anything buoyant that drifts into its grip can remain there for decades, even centuries. Scientists estimate the GPGP covers around 1.6 million square kilometers, an area twice the size of Texas or three times the size of France. Within it, researchers believe there are 1.8 trillion individual pieces of plastic, with upper estimates reaching 3.6 trillion. That's more pieces than there are stars in our galaxy. The combined weight is staggering, about 100,000 tons, equal to 740 fully loaded Boeing 777 aircraft. The GPGP is actually made up of two massive zones. The Western Garbage Patch near Japan, the Eastern Garbage Patch between Hawaii and California. They are linked by a diffuse band of debris, creating a transoceanic plastic bridge. But this is not a uniform, solid mass. It is a dynamic soup of floating waste, from weathered bottle caps to abandoned fishing nets that can stretch for tens of meters. Plastics dominate this patch, 